go back to the strain this go back to the strain eh, go back to the train okay go back to the train station hi it's your baby girl eva busoma you don't want to miss this video just keep watching do not skip any parts this is the most interesting video you will see trust me Waka Waka with Jolly Journey Part 2. So right now we are at the waiting room. We have gotten our ticket and we're about to take the train. So stay tuned. so like this is so nice like jolly johnny really really tried okay so right now we're at our apartment two persons per room it's just like a service department like it has a kitchen where we can cook i am in my room i don't have a roommate yet but let's see how it will go so there's a kitchen i'm going to take you around to the rooms in my own apartment you get so two people per room and each apartment have like two rooms so two people per room, two people. So we have like we took like four, four different apartments, right? And this is actually a new building. We're the first people to launch this place. So, mm, get ready. Let me show you guys the apartment. So. cannot snap we can't like make videos but i'm going to take you down the side very soon i'll tell you guys everything that you have missed so keep watching
have the okay, the last family I want to show you guys family. Okay, on that is where we are standing, where we have the video shows. The Mike Jacob on it. Back on the Temke House family, who will be Papa Sonjo, popularly known as Ebola. Ebola, you are the Wow. Was composed by Fela's grandfather on the 27th of June, 1920. Oh, 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 We have samba. We have samba. Can you play the samba? Yes, just like this. Samba. So, Gundo, this is Gundo. The drum without the bell is known as Gongo. But with the bell, it's called Gundo. The bell itself is called Shawo. That's Shawo. And this is Aguadi here for housing the chicken. We have Egubu. He's a mascot that originated from Oyo State. Most of us celebrated in four years among the Yorubas. Akwago is a mascot that originated from Ijebu State. We have a mommy, the cocoa mommy, cocoa baby, the back up. And in Egbalan, what we do here is add the red, tie and tie. Mm. Meaning, add the add red. So we have the top, we have the kente, we have the kapala short necker, kapala soap down, we have the kente materials as well, kapala tops, and also we have the unsold materials. Ghana fabrics as well, kapala slippers, kapala bags. So at this section, we have natural products, I go JD. I go by AK47. Combination 7. We have sweeteners now. I have a serious question now. Sorry, sorry. How long? What's the duration? You are asking. How long? 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 Oh, uh, maybe two hours, one okay. hour. Rock is in three stages. To get to the first stage where we are, you have climbed 120 steps. Can we give ourselves a round of applause? 120 steps. And I know we still fit to climb to the peak of the rock. Yes, yes. So we have a garden here. We call this garden Lisha B Garden. Lisha B Oni Kongwa. Lisha B Garden. It's named after one of our past warriors called Lisha B Agbogwakala. Lisha B Agbogwakala was a warrior during his lifetime. He was one that fought for the liberation of Egas. In honor of him, that's why they refer to Egadi. Egadi or more, Lisha B. Meaning Egadi, children of Lisha B. We have two trees here that we are going to talk about. The first one is Flamboyant Tree. We call it Bansheke Tree. Bansheke. So this board and holding, this half of it. The board has some seed inside. When it is dry up, if you tap it or shake it, it's this kind of a sound. Sheke, sheke, sheke. That's why they call it Bansheke Tree. And this is the second one, Dongo Yaro. English call it name. N W E M. The English 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 English. Nim, Nim, N W E M. If you cook it as half and drink it, it kills malaria. Only and malaria. If you this stick, it kills bad brain. So people come here for relaxation, picnic, and birthday party. When we go up there, we talk the rock around. You see some historical places we have here. You can see shrines, some old female worshippers. They are not harmful. If you are able to climb to the peak of the rock, you are going to see the almost Abel Kuta. So, do you have any question before we proceed? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Thank you. The deity of Odumo Rock. They open this place once in a year. Oh. On the day of festival, the sacrifice started by beating traditional drums. At the same time, women have gone by the hunters to let the people know that the festival has begun. During that time, the Prime Minister of Egadlan, they will pray for the whole country and for those climbing the rock so they will not fall. We have never had any casualty. And they used a big black cow for the sacrifice.
This is where the people of Kwekla, this is where they keep doing the intra tribal war. Yeah, was a time when Negla people were having problems from the ancient or your empire. That time they were looking for independence. They decided to leave where they were residing to come and settle down in this environment. That was in 1830. Not quite long they settled there, another war cropped up between Egbaz and Idahome. Now, Republic of Bene, Putulu. If I told them to come and hide here, but before then, somebody discovered this rock. His name is Adagba. He was a great hunter farmer. This place was a jungle of forest gems. So, only powerful people that would come here. But when I told them to come and hide here, Adagba invited to go there. And they were here for three years, 1830 to 1833. Before the elevator was made, this is where the ancient settlers were used to get to the peak of Europe. It's a natural passage. People still take it, but it's a little bit challenging. Not advisable for those that ask to be here for hide. So, we have some sculptures here representing our past warriors. The people that fought for this town during the inter tribal war. The Sandy Hairs represents those that survived the war, while the Buried Hairs represents those that died. And the calories represent the far oracle they consulted them, and the money they were spending there. Calories, we call it Owe Yo. I'm at the height or the peak of Oluma Rock. Wow. Climbing this thing is not easy at all. Like, you need to be kitted with your canvas. Canvas that has a big sole that is not slippery. If not, forget it, you can't climb. From here, you can see the almost Abel Okuta and Oluma Rock from the base is 137 meters above the sea level. Wow. Wow. So, I need to show you some important places from the city, like first church in Nigeria. That's it so far. The structure up inside that, the one with the tower behind the rock. Okay. With the brown window, that is first church in Nigeria, St. Peter's Anglican Cathedral Church, Ake Abel Okuta. The church was built in 1844. And we have a mosque here, yeah, look like a church, Kobiti Central Mosque. It was rebuilt in 1925. So we are back. It's stressful, like we just came back. But first of all, we had to like stop at the restaurant to eat first. I'm so tired, seriously. Like I'm so tired, but I had mad fun. Lou Morok, <laughs> you you people need to go there seriously. You will need a pass, you will need a little money to buy stuff so you get hungry and all that. Like, that place is amazing. I was about rushing to go and have my shower when I remembered I actually got something from Uluma Rock. Those stuff they are selling and all the stuff. So, I actually got something for myself. I got this tie and dye polo. Very nice. 4,000 naira. I got this for myself. And I got this props. And I had my business name written on it with some kind of paint or something be to the kitchen on it so I'll be using to place my food and take nice pictures and all that so mm, I can be using it as hand fan in case this weather wants to kill itself not me in case this weather wants to kill itself not me so this is the two stuff I got I got this for 2000 okay? 2000 naira and I got this one for 4000 naira and they sell other nice stuff there uh, and Jolly Johnny gave me this can like this is the second can I'm getting from them through uh, the trips and everything so you know you can guess what's inside it is like my Sprite so I'm gonna like drink here mm. Mm. 
this is actually the souvenir and this is another souvenir too Declan wine your white wine hmm have you have you ever tasted this wine before like it's nice you don't want to miss it they have the red wine and they have the white wine so this is the white wine and this is what it actually looks like so mm. don't forget to buy this and enjoy good life because this is part of good life so right now i'm going to go and take my baits then i'm going to like lie down on my bed and sleep that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> so this is and that day. Like I'm still my eyes are so boggy. I just had to brush my mouth and wash my face a little bit. We're going to have breakfast very soon and then we head out to Polish of Passenger Library. Then go for a boat ride and go back to the train <laughs> Go back to the train. Eh, go back to the train. Okay go back to the train station and then head back to Lagos State. <laughs> so currently we are at OOPL, Olichegu Obasanjo Presidential Library and there are lots of, it's a very big resort, there is boat ride, there's the library, there's the zoo, there's a church here I guess and there's a very big hotel, there are lots of stuff. So we are actually going to the library, we're going to be going to the library and then later on we'll go for the boat ride stuff and they said we cannot video or snap at the library but let's see. They didn't allow us to like video you see a video of um the bicycle that olushego obasanjo used when he was still farming where he was still farming like not that he's still not farming he's still farming the ball like then well the bicycle who he used then you can see it right i was able to like manipulate and just make a little video so that they won't catch me or something then we entered the place and we saw they were up to like seven cars that Olushegu Obasanjo used, his normal Volkswagen car that he used when he wanted to go around, his personal car, the armored tank car that he used during civil war, like a whole lot, the helicopter, <sighs> bulletproof Mercedes Benz that they used to bring him from, I don't know from where they brought him to Asu Rock, everything in details everything neat everything clean everything well taken care of like this i am so happy i'm i'm a lover of tourism i'm a lover of good places like especially all those i don't know i'm a lover of good things seriously and i can say that this place is the best tourist site i have visited in my entire life like this is this is amazing this is incredible this is if there's any bigger word than that this is amazing seriously i had fun to the second building like this one behind me after going to the first library 
we went to the second building and that is where the whole thing got more exciting for me because please I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain okay i'm going to be dropping some videos you can see some videos the little ones i was i was able to like steal and all that so there are lots of stuff there from stella obasanjo's gallery her stuff we are kept her clothes her pictures olushe go obasanjo's beginning how he started life his letters the letters he wrote when he was young the letters his children wrote his family tree I cannot say the whole thing, seriously. There are lots and lots of stuff there. His uniforms, everything he used, the gifts that were given to him by various continents from Asia, Australia, Korea, like everything, like well documented. Everything is neat, everything is organized. Like, you need to come here. You need to come here, seriously. Right now, I'm heading to the boat ride corner with my friends and all that, so um hopefully we have some fun too then that will be the end of this beautiful tour you don't want to miss this seriously <laughs> Thank you so much, Jelly Journey.